Welcome to the workshop. If you saw my previous video, you'll know that I've already created the top cylinder cover for the 10V. This is a pretty simple slice of cast iron with uh, one spigot on one side and a decorative boss on the other. It's really straightforward, so I'm not going to detail this too much. What I am going to do is detail the other um, cylinder cover, which is a bit more complicated. This is the first feature on the bottom cylinder cover. It's a spigot which fits inside the standard and inside that trunk guide. One of the challenges I've got is to ensure that my, my drill bits go in exactly the, same, the right amount. So what I can do is I can use things like parallels to offset the drill bit from the face of the work. In this case, this is a half an inch. And I know if I wind this in uh, exactly half an inch, I am dead on the surface of the work. Right, so I'm dr drilling the tapping size for 5 uh, British Standard Brass. I need to go in this way, 281 thou. So I've got a dial test indicator set up on the uh, out just out shot here. I'm going to use that to guide me in that exact 281 thou from the surface of the work. This is pretty much my standard tapping arrangement at the moment. I've got my homemade uh, tap follower in the Jacobs chuck. I have the tailstock locked. I uh, put the center in this, in the center in the back of the tap, and have a little hand tap here. Then I apply some pressure. There's a spring in here. So I now know that within reason I'm going to have as, as much travel as I need, being supported by the center. The lathe has the clutch out so the uh, headstock turns relatively freely. Um, what's kind of unusual in this part really is that normally I would use a taper, um, tapered reamer, but this uh, hole is so short, and you can see there's so much of a smooth area on this tap that there's, um, there's no way to get any, any thread engagement at all. So I'm having to go straight to the plug tap here. So. Fingers crossed, eh? Here's the result. So just turning down, holding in the chuck like this and turning it down. Uh, I tried to use different tools, but just use, ended up using a standard tool in the end. And I just scribed the pitch circle diameter for the uh, 7BA bolts that are gonna hold this in. I'm gonna use calipers to walk my way around the PCD on that to uh, get the holes drilled. Overall, fairly happy. 